bright duty. Every student matters. Now let us look at the, these numbers. 2 root 2, 5 root 3, root 2, 3 root 3. Now if I add these numbers, 2 root 2 plus 5 root 3 plus root 2 minus 3 root 3. The same kind of irrationality or these numbers can be clubbed. Because if you consider root 3 as apples, I can say these are 5 apples and these are 3 apples. So, 5 apples minus 3 apples, 2 apples. So, it will be 2 root 3 here. Similarly, if root 2 is oranges, 2 root 2 plus root 2 will be 3 root 2. Okay? But apples and oranges cannot be added or subtracted. Right? They will remain as it is. Okay? In this case, the answer will be 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3. By adding, it means that we need to represent these numbers as sum or difference of rational and irrational numbers. Okay? So, this is the most simplified form in this case. Now, if you multiply these 6 root 5 by 2 root 5, 6 root 5 into 2 root 5. Look at this. If you multiply the rational parts, it will give you 12. Irrational parts root 5 into root 5 is 5. So, 5. So, hence the answer is 60. Okay? So, this is about this multiplication here. Here I would like to highlight one more point. If it is written that root AB is equal to root A into root B, is it always true? No. It is true only when A and B are simultaneously a and B are not simultaneously negative. Because if they are negative A and B both, then what will happen is on the left hand side, you will have number like this root minus 2 minus 3 let us say. On the right hand side, you will have minus 2 into minus 3. These are not real numbers, right? But on the left hand side, you have got a real number which is root 6. So, it cannot be broken into these two parts until and unless we know that A and B both are not simultaneously negative. Okay? So, it you always read the statements before these kind of results. It will always be written like in your class, it will be written that A and B are positive or A and B are non-negative. Then this. Okay? So, you keep this in mind. Now, I need to divide 8 root 15 by 2 root 3. Okay? Now, root 15 I can write as root 5 into root 3. So, divided by 2 root 3, I can cancel root 3 here and it will give me 4 here. So, the answer will be 4 root 5. Okay? Simplify the following expressions. By simplifying, I again mean that you need to write it in the form of sum or difference of rational and irrational part. So, this is 5 plus root 7, 2 plus root 5. How do we multiply these brackets? First, let us multiply 2 with 5. So, it will give me 10. Then 2 with root 7, 2 root 7. Root 5 with 5, 5 root 5. Root 5 with root 7 will give me root 35. Okay. So, this is the simplification of this. Right? This is just a plus b into a minus b. We know that a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. This is an algebraic identity which we learnt in previous classes. So, we will use this identity here. Let it be a and this be b. So, a square minus b square. So, 5 square minus root 5 square. So, this is 25, this is 5, hence the result is 20. Okay? In this case, the identity used will be a plus b square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Okay? So, let us use this identity. Root 3 square plus twice of a into b plus b square. So, this will be 3, this will be 2 root 21, this will be 7.
so 10 plus 2 root 21 is your answer okay a minus b a plus b form so a square minus b square so root 11 square minus root 7 square it will give you 11 minus 7 that is 4 okay now this is another concept in this chapter which is rationalize the denominator of 1 by root 2 by rationalizing i mean that i do not want the irrational part in denominator and how do i eliminate the irrational part from denominator i know that a ratio 1 by 2 can be written as 2 by 4 or 3 by 6 why because these all are equivalent ratios so 1 by root 2 can be written as something multiplied in the numerator i can multiply the same thing in denominator right that will be equivalent to 1 by root 2 so what do i multiply in the denominator so that it becomes rational obviously root 2 so if i multiply this number by root 2 divided by root 2 the number will still be the same but now see you can write this as root 2 divided by this is root 2 into root 2 is 2 okay this is the rationalized number i do not have irrational part in the denominator now what is the use of this rationalization root 2 we have already located on the number line right we have already located root 2 in the previous exercise on the number line now if you want to find 1 by root 2 now look at this number looking at this number you can automatically visualize that it will be half way it is half of root 2 so it will be half way of this segment it will be somewhere here 1 by root 2 so these numbers are easier easier to visualize okay that is why so how do we rationalize the denominator by converting the denominator into rational part by multiplying it with something okay if you multiply it with something obviously you will multiply the numerator with the same thing okay to keep the number same all right now in this case whenever you have a plus b form in the denominator or a minus b if you multiply it with a minus b or if you multiply it with a plus b you will have a square minus b square type number right so if it is square root of something when you take square it will become rational right what i mean to say is generally if this square root part has got positive sign with it we will multiply this number with 2 minus root 3 2 minus root 3 here this was positive in the question so i took a negative here okay of the irrational part this we need to keep in mind now what happens is the numerator is 2 minus root 3 but the denominator is of a plus b into a minus b form which is a square minus b square so the number is 2 minus root 3 this number is easier to visualize than this number right it is root 3 we know how to measure root 3 with the compass right in the previous lecture we have discussed about it so if you have 2 here and you can measure root 3 length with your compass using that Pythagoras theorem that we used in previous exercise so you can come back by root 3 length here so this will be 2 minus root 3 okay rationalize the denominator of this so what do i multiply with what do i multiply it with i will multiply and divide this number with root 3 plus root 5 so the numerator becomes 5 root 3 plus root 5 divided by a square that is 3 minus b square that is 5 so it will be minus 2 so minus 5 by 2 root 3 plus root 5 so the denominator does not have any rational part now this was our purpose of rationalizing it similarly to rationalize this number i will multiply and divide it by 7 minus 3 root 2 so 
so the numerator becomes 7 minus 3 root 2 and the denominator is of form a plus b into a minus b so a square 49 minus b square a square 49 minus b square so 3 root 2 square 9 into 2 18 okay so this will give you 7 minus 3 root 2 divided by 31 now the denominator doesn't have an irrational part